today from Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's a special New Year's Day edition of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Green Bay Packers taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Historic Lambeau Field, fittingly it butts up against Lombardi Avenue here in the heart of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Today it's a black and blue matchup in the NFC North between the Minnesota Vikings and the Green Bay Packers. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. The numbers a week ago for Cook, very, very strong, well over 100 yards. He should get the ball early and often here, too. I mean, when you ride the performance of last week into this game, his confidence level has to be off the charts. Go ahead and keep feeding him. On second down, it's Cook again. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Here's Cook again. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And cue the applause, and there it is for him, the mark he's been aiming for all season long. 1,000 yards. Just a third quarterback to reach that milestone, joining Lamar Jackson and Michael Vick. That's a season's worth of work and a huge commitment to get him the touches that he needed to make that happen. Congratulations. Second and five. First carry now for Alexander Madison. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. They'll set up to throw. That's to Dalvin Cook, his running back. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 34-yard line. And they get 10 yards there and convert on third. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. He'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. They'll get this halfway home from the 8 to the 4 on a gain of 4. Second and goal from inside the 5. Cook. We'll take this into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. They start the drive with Cook. 
And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. These two teams, you may remember, they met in Minnesota earlier in the year with the Vikings coming out victorious. So a victory here in Lambeau would give them a sweep of the season series. Two yards on the first down carry and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Open here, Adam Thielen. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and ten at the 46. Here's the option play now to the left. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Left side, Cook. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. A 10th carry in the game for Cook. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. He'll drop to throw. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? Kenny Clark, the big D tackle there to make the stop. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. They run it again with Cook. A great move in there, but it only takes him to the seven. He's dropped there. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. They'll set up a throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game. throwing here to start the drive that's complete to Justin Jefferson and he'll be corralled right around the 34 the Vikings gonna signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half from the 34 now here's first and 10 back to throw here Packer pressure, and down he goes. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. And he's got this to Jefferson. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few... own end zone. Flushed out right. That is caught by Thielen. And they work this out past the 25. 25 yards that time. Up the 
the middle. It's Cook. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Looking to throw. Oh, leaping, and he makes the grab. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. They'll look to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incomplete. Try and start this drive in the air. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Making that play on the pass rush, that's Devontae Wyatt. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. It's a gain of 35. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver. And as this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. And quickly, they get to the line. to throw now on first down flush to his right and they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13 yard line from the 13 now they work on first and 10 inside the red zone here they'll look to throw to the goal line but it's incomplete on that snap he's a hero of his defense after the play he just made a one possession game and his hit kept it exactly that Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Back to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. And he'll decide to keep this once more. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. It's their quarterback scoring on the two-yard They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. 66 yards rushing for him so far in this one as he nears 1,400 for the year. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock. And this is second and less than a yard. slide down to avoid the tackle give him 10 that time escaping the danger running with it and picking up a first down 
Carter, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual threat role, really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. Devondre Campbell, the one who fought his way in there to make the play. So their task a little bit more difficult now, second and 13 that they're walking up on. They're going to look to throw, eluding the pressure right. To the right side and complete to Jefferson. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 25-yard line. Cook now off the read option. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Again, it's Cook. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now he'll try to run with this. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Now the Packers are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. shotgun he'll look to throw flushed out right and he'll get into the end zone touchdown Minnesota their mobile quarterback his second touchdown of the afternoon and the Vikings are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead he continues to show at this level that he can not only pass for touchdowns, he can run for touchdowns. Not the first time we've seen this because this young guy, he really makes it happen. So what that tells me is the book on him has to change. You've got... So the final seconds have ticked away in this Minnesota victory, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through and they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So for the Vikings, they continue their winning ways as they run their mark to 15-1 and one on the year. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.